We go back to the early 1900s, when the world was affected by the First World War. In this chaotic background, in order to spread the blessings of Allah in Japan, mosque construction planning began in regions such as Tokyo and Aichi. Kobe was no exception, with the gradual increase in the number of Muslims immigrating to Kobe. The need to build a mosque began to emerge as a matter of great importance. In 1928, with M.A.K. Bocha as the proposer, and at the urging of Muslims living in Kobe, the construction of the Kobe Mosque started to finally begin taking shape. However, the construction plan was not easy and straightforward. Due to the effects of the economic crisis caused by the Great Depression, People involved in this project at that time say that there were times when they faced immense difficulties. Under such circumstances, Mr. Feroz Udin bore more than half of the total funds required for construction, with huge donations from the Ahmed Abdul Karim brothers and others. The construction project of this mosque became operational. With the donations from the Kobe Turkish Tatar Association, and the dedicated work of Mr. S.A. Ahmed, who was raising funds overseas. Japan's first mosque was built in Kobe in 1935. When the mosque was completed, not only Muslims living in Japan rushed to celebrate, but also Muslims from India, Russia, Germany, China, Turkestan, Egypt, Afghanistan, and others gathered in Kobe from all over the world. A grand ceremony and celebration were held. In his address, the mayor of Kobe gave his congratulations by saying, On this good day, I share the joy of Muslims and hope that in the future, this will become an institution that promotes friendships between different ethnic groups. At the same time, the chairman of the Kobe Muslim Mosque at the time stated, I declare the opening of the first Muslim mosque in the beautiful land of the rising sun. The reciprocal flow of feelings that transcends borders and religions is conveyed in the words of the two men who conveyed their friendship and joy to the community. After overcoming many difficulties with the help of Allah, the Kobe Muslim mosque, whose construction was miraculously completed, not only became a place of support for many believers, but was also used as a place of refuge when the city of Kobe was burned to the ground by bombing in the Second World War, and only Kobe Mosque was the one building to retain its splendid form. According to the Kobe Shimbu newspaper of the time, it also served as an evacuation center for local residents during air raids, accepted people who lost their homes, and shared relief supplies with everyone, regardless of religious boundaries. Furthermore, even in the Great Hanshin Awaji earthquake of 1995, which is still fresh in the memories of many today, the mosque did not collapse and survive. This is exactly what the Kobe Muslim Mosque needed in this area. There is no doubt that it continues to receive the blessings of Allah. The Kobe Muslim Mosque gives people inspiration with its dignified appearance. The gentle cherry blossoms that bloom in spring made the believers' hearts composed and tranquil. For about 80 years, the lush green trees have served as a resting place for insects and birds in the summer. Carefully protected by many believers until the 2016 elections, the Kobe Mosque was run stably and peacefully. In the chaotic situation that ensued after the 2016 elections, around July 2017, Kalik Uz Zaman Khan Lodi, who is widely known as Lodi Kalik, saw an opening and joined Kobe Mosque Committee. In September 2017, Kalik persuaded the directors of the time to become the chairman. After taking the position of chairman, Kalik began to run the mosque on his own whims contrary to the will of the board of directors at the time. This included dismissing imams, bringing in imams of his own choosing, dismissing two female teachers at the Kobe Mosque at his own discretion, 
and while completely ignoring the opinions of the other directors, and this operated the mosque in a dictatorial manner. At the committee meeting of November 15, 2017, Kalik was dismissed from his position as chairman by four committee members who were dissatisfied with his unacceptable dictator style of management. However, Kalik ignored the decision of the committee and changed the locks and keys of important doors, such as the office of the Kobe Mosque, and effectively began occupying the mosque. He also changed the password for the Kobe Mosque official email account, which still remains under his control. And as such, many other things remain in his possession and occupation. Since 2017 until today, the mosque is literally under occupation of Kalik, and for his next criminal act was to attempt to take control of the mosque bank accounts. Despite not being the chairman, Kalik visited Mitsubishi UFJ Bank and lied to them by saying, I lost my bank passbook and cash card and applied for new bank passbook cards. However, Mr. Sobhi, who had been managing the accounts of the mosque for a long time and was chairman of the mosque at the time, found out Kalik's attempts and managed to stop the bank procedure. However, Kalik angered with the bank's response caused a fuss at the bank and had to be removed from the bank by the police. In addition, Kalik, who claims that he was unfairly dismissed as chairman, filed a lawsuit claiming that the committee's decision was invalid. However, on November 27, 2017, the Kobe District Court rejected his claim and Kalik lost the case. But Kalik, still obsessed with control and power, made his next move. This is when he began to initiate a series of major acts of fraud against Kobe Mosque. On December 28, 2017, Kalik's lawyer, Hokue, applied to the Kobe District Legal Affairs Bureau to register Kalik as chairman. The content of the application was that on December 27, 2017, a General Assembly meeting was held at the Kobe Mosque. 154 out of 156 General Assembly members participated in this general meeting. The majority decided to dismiss Mr. Subhi, Mr. Kossum, Mr. Mia, and Mr. Yamaguchi for their inappropriate behavior as directors and instead select Mr. Farouk and Mr. Buyen. Four new members were elected as new directors. The following day on the 28th in the committee meeting, Kalik was elected as a new chairman. The application was made despite no such meeting ever happening. However, Mr. Subhi took a provisional injunction procedure against this illegal act, and in the trial, the fact was revealed that the General Assembly meeting on December 27, 2017 never happened, and in fact, it was decided arbitrarily at a meeting where about 10 people, including Kalik and his friends, were gathered. On March 27, 2018, the directors and chairman elected by holding a bogus General Assembly meeting were ruled out of their positions. However, Kalik did not accept the court's verdict and immediately filed an appeal against the court's decision. Despite appealing the court's decision on this first round of fraud, Kalik commits a second round of fraud. The details are from the email account of Kobe Mosque which was controlled by Kalik. An email was sent to the General Assembly members with false information that since the term of the committee has been expired, it has been decided that elections for the new committee will be held on April 28, 2018. In response to this, Mr. Subhi, the chairman of the committee and his attorney, Mr. Moramoto, repeatedly told Kalik that it is necessary to stop occupying the mosque, which is an illegal act restore the mosque that had now become a personal property back to its normal position and proceed with preparations for the election after consulting with everyone. However, Kalik ignored it and held elections on April 28th on his own. Of course, many believers opposed it and did not participate. But yet, Kalik conducted the illegal election and on May 2nd, 2018, and his attorney, Hokue, once again applied to register Kalik as chairman of Kobe Mosque. It was given in the application that 75 out of 116 total members elected a new committee 
in the April 28, 2018 election. Six new directors, including Khalik, Bahar Farooq, Buyin Amin, and Wasim Ahmed Khan were elected. And at the committee meeting held on the 29th, Khalik was to be elected as a chairman. Of course, because it was again an illegal act, Mr. Subhi took the provisional injunction procedure again. In a ruling dated July 6, 2018, the court ruled that the illegally elected committee and the supposed elected chairman Khalik are invalid. Additionally, on August 1, 2018, their first fraud appeal was dismissed. Victory for the community. On November 29, 2019, which is still fresh in our memory, Khalik committed fraud for the third time. Moreover, this fraud was the most vicious and dangerous one in the history of the mosque. And it was an attempt to permanently occupy the mosque. During the committee elections on August 5, 2018, Khalik barely managed to become the chairman of the committee after a huge and vicious propaganda of various false claims, such as Mr. Zia took money and Mr. Subhi not returning money. In collusion with his associates, Mahar Farooq, Buyan Amin, and Wasim, he managed to change the 80-year-old rules of the Kobe Mas Constitution. The details are, a meeting was held on November 29, 2019. 74 of 110 total members gathered and approved the change of rules. The change rules were very dangerous for the mosque. What has changed? First, the committee election system was abolished. In the past, directors were elected by general assembly elections. Under the new rules, directors are to be elected by the committee. In other words, these six committee members can choose anyone they like, or they can continue to select themselves as a director for the rest of their lives, creating a state in which they can virtually rule the mosque as directors permanently. Second, amendments to the Articles of the Constitution were to be made by a majority of the General Assembly, plus two-thirds majority of the committee members, by voting. This rule was also changed so that any rule could be changed by these six new members of the committee. As a result, the role of the General Assembly was practically eliminated, and these six committee members permanently occupied the mosque and made it their personal property. It was decided to file a lawsuit by fellow members of the General Assembly who feared that the mosque was in danger. At the trial, various forged documents were submitted by Khalik. Here are some of those. Fake meeting minutes to reduce the total number of members of the General Assembly from 210 to 110. A fake backdated notice that claimed to be put on a notice board inside the mosque to announce this fake General Assembly meeting. A fake list of 74 people who were said to have participated in this fake General Assembly meeting. Surprisingly, Mr. Zia's name is also included in this list. The names of the participants written in a dubious manner so they could be deceived later. A fake list of 110 members, which had been reduced from 210 to 110 members. Finally, suspicious statements of 41 members submitted at the Osaka High Court. Two things we requested to the court. The November 29, 2019 General Assembly meeting and rule changes to be declared void. Repeated fraudsters are a danger to the mosque. Suspend their duties and hold legitimate committee member elections by a neutral proxy. Unfortunately, the judgment of the Kobe District Court granted the first request, but not the second. So an appeal to the Osaka High Court was made. And then, thanks to Allah's help, with the defense lawyer's determined struggle and everyone's sincere prayers, the Kobe District Court's judgment was overturned and a major victory was achieved. In this way, Khalik had taken control of the mosque by defrauding the Kobe Mosque, the General Assembly, and the community of the mosque three times since 2017. In order to protect their fraud, Khalik and his friends repeatedly filed court cases and for which the mosque had to pay a huge amount of legal fees that caused great damage to the mosque finances. 
In addition to his fraudulent activities, Kalik has also committed many other violations. For example, since he became chairman in 2018, the income and expenditure accounts of Kobe Mosque have not been disclosed and are in a completely unknown state. In December 2019, without the approval of the General Assembly and the committee, the mosque was renovated by his own decision, thereby destroyed the historical appearance of the mosque and the flora that surrounded it. As mentioned earlier, Kobe Mosque is a miraculous building that has survived the Second World War and the 1995 Great Hanshin Awaji earthquake since its construction in 1935. As a famous place, the historic good old antique appearance of the building attracts the attention of many visitors and the surrounding residents, and believers were proud of it. Kalik then destroyed part of the outer wall and failed all the old cherry blossom trees and other old trees around it. The main building of the mosque was painted in pink, destroying its antique appearance. Also, instead of a row of beautiful trees, an ugly iron fence was installed to make the building look like a prison. The Kobe Mosque has lost its status as a tourist attraction, and its ugly appearance is distressing to many believers. Since 2017, out of personal hatred and revenge, Kalik has sent over 100 emails to the General Assembly containing lies against few committee members and certain members of the General Assembly. Personal attacks, insults, hatred, vengeance, criticism, accusations, propaganda contents, were leveled to hide the real problems and to keep telling lies to the General Assembly, brainwash the members of the General Assembly, divide the community, and spread distrust. Kalik and mosque employees hired by him are disturbing the peace of the mosque by not answering questions from General Assembly members and believers about various illegal acts, threatening members, and calling 110 on a daily basis, and calling police to scare those who ask questions. The police rushing to the mosque has caused the mosque to have a bad reputation, both among the surrounding residents and believers who regularly come for prayers. Until 2017, the mosque was a popular open space for religious activities and learning for many believers. Since November 2017, after Kalik had occupied the mosque and made it his private property, locking up the second floor of the mosque and the library. Believers' access to the mosque has been restricted, and religious dawah activities have also been affected. This is the history of our beloved Kobe Muslim Mosque and the problems we are currently facing.